Stop back to it is. I'm Colonel Sharkster. I'm Zach. Nah, I'm Chris. I'm Chris. Well, Chris. But I did uh, cosplay as uh, Colonel Sanders a few weeks ago at, at uh, Comic Con. Okay. Yeah. I took home a uh, judge's choice. So now your boy is a multi award winning cosplayer. And he is a professional cosplayer. Uh, who has been a featured cosplayer. So, we're moving up. I mean, it's cool. But uh, I want to wear my Colonel Sanders cosplay for you guys today. But my beard started growing back. Yes, it's not, don't, don't hate on me. I know it's not long. I don't feel a long beard anyway. But I want to do it last week. We apologize for missing uh, last week's uh, episode. As you know, on our posts, I kind of got hit by a semi. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I was on the way to pick Zach up. Um, he had a Taekwondo tournament last week, so he had a business tournament too, uh, which I feel horrible about that. But uh, I did get side swiped uh, by a semi, so now I'm having to deal with all that stuff. I am okay. Um, I'm fine. I was not injured. Luckily, thank you uh, for everybody that, you know, the thoughts and prayers and all that stuff like that. You know, we, I really appreciate that. It was scary. Um, but I'm here, I'm alive, and I'm kicking and making chicken. I like that. <laughs> okay, guys, so, oh, this was the bucket I had for my girl Sanders. I was like, it's chicken look. I'm ready to cook the chicken. Oh, yeah. But, uh, we're gonna make some actual chicken for you guys tonight. So, we're gonna tell you the 11 herbs and spices. What? Yeah, it's a secret. Yeah. So, so technically, nobody really, really knows the original recipe. It died with Harlan. Um, so Harlan Sanders, the real concern. But um, what if they like? There was a company that sort of uh, used the recipe, and then KFC made them change it. Nobody really knows that even KFC doesn't use the original recipe no more. We found a lot of stuff. Um, I started digging and digging and digging until I finally found one. The, most of them are all pretty much the same thing. Um, only thing we're gonna leave out is MSG. I didn't know what the MSG in there. So, but we have our spices, oh. and so we're going to make. What if, what if like the government kept his brain, and they are like researching his brain right now to find the secret recipe? It's a possibility. I mean, they say that Walt Disney is frozen. And they also say like there could be a JFK duplicate. Abraham Lincoln. Hey, tell us what your all's favorite conspiracy theory is. There's a thing. I mean, Area 51 is a thing. Yeah. I mean, they might have aliens, but they might have I like. Aliens. I love a good conspiracy theory. Uh, I was looking at one the other day uh, about Taylor Swift. I'm probably going to get copyrighted on this one now. Taylor Swift's going to come get me. Tay Tay? Yeah. So, but I'm not going to say it on the video, but it was a really, really cool one saying that she's a reincarnation of the Satanist Temple. What? Princess? It was really cool. Anyway, guys, before we make this too long, we're going to be making KFC original recipe, but we didn't really want the bone-in chicken today. I really didn't feel like uh, making uh, some drumstick size, so we are just going to make some chicken tenders. Sound good? So with all that said, let's get to cooking. All right, so to start this off, uh, instead of doing the chicken, we're going to start off with our art with our feature artists. Um, we found this guy's artwork at, at Kusicon. We actually bought quite a few pieces. I think we bought almost, what, almost six, six different pieces of artwork off of him. Uh, he's, he's a artist and a um, actor. I'm gonna make sure I get it right. I really hope I don't butcher his name. <laughs> Matthew Ashley, A-T-C-H-L-E-Y. We will have all of his stuff in the uh, description. This is one of the favorite pieces I bought from him. He has some amazing work, this is this one. I really like this one. The black and white makes it very subtle, but then that, that, that burst of color, looking like leaves, but then when you look at it, it's like it's fire. And I really like this, especially this heart. Is that might be able to show you. This reminds me a lot of my arm. I have a DNA double helix, like a family tree on here. And in there too, there's a heart on the tattoo. So I thought that was a really cool thing. Uh, this guy was super nice. 
Last week I was dressed as Colonel Sanders, uh, so he probably doesn't know who my real face is, but it's fine. Um, super awesome. His artwork, Zach got um, pieces. He got a Batman, Robin, and a Joker from the 66 series, uh, Batman series. They're amazing. Um, I got a Harley Quinn smile. Uh, we got a piece for um, his uh, instructor, Mr. Johns. We got his, it's the uh, Death of Robin piece. It's amazing. So, all his information will be description in the, uh, or the, well, it'll be all in the description of the video. Please check out his artwork. Check him out. Great artist, great guy. Let's speak to him. So, with that now, let's go ahead and get started on our, our stuff. So, we can't do chicken without chicken. Again, I just took this, this is about three large chicken breasts. I split them in half and then cut them three to four slices of each. That one a very long uh, chicken tender. That's what he asked me he wanted to. So we're going to start off right here. And I'm going to have to look at Zach's phone here to make sure um, I have the right stuff. I type his password in. What's your password, Zach? Just kidding. I'm not going to say it on camera. You know it. <laughs> I know it. So I'm going to make sure I read this because there are a lot of herbs and spices in here but it's still pretty simple the way this is made I'm gonna start off basic this night you got your about two cups of flour here okay two cups of flour I'm going to have two teaspoons of salt I'm going to have one and a half teaspoons of oh no, hold on, I'm sorry two teaspoons of salt and then I'm gonna have one and a half teaspoons of dried thyme I'm going to have one and a half teaspoons of basil and one teaspoon of oregano. Sorry again, I want to make sure I get these right because there are a bunch of them on here. All right, we have one tablespoon of celery salt. Okay, one tablespoon of ground black pepper. I have, and this one's crazy, a fourth of a cup of paprika. What? That's a lot of paprika. That is a lot. There's a lot of paprika, but that's what it calls for. That's what we're going with, okay? We got two tablespoons of garlic salt right here. We got one tablespoon of oh my ground. I lost it. Oh my gosh, guys. Ground white pepper. Ground ginger. One tablespoon oh. of ground ginger. I'm sorry, like I'm trying to read this Zach stuff can come up there. Three tablespoons we're probably gonna have to write these down over here on the thing or is that gonna have to put on the we're gonna have to have this for you guys three tablespoons of ground white pepper okay uh the mustard i almost forgot that one i skipped that one one tablespoon of ground yellow mustard i skipped over that one to that paprika one cup of buttermilk we got one cup of buttermilk and a couple eggs, uh, just because you're gonna do your egg wash, and then some oil. We fry this in now. Colonel Sanders actually used a pressure cooker, that's how it got the flavor in there. Um, it was a typical thing they did using the oil in the pressure cooker, it was kind of um controversial, but he did it, made the chicken great. That's what it gave me that crispiness and that flavor to it. So, that all we're gonna do on this is we're gonna take all of these. And we're gonna put them all in this flour. Let's go ahead and get started with that. All right, so we have all of our seasonings in there, and now we're. How many, how many do we have? How many herbs and spices? We have. You said you missed it, so we have ten. No, we have eleven. We still have eleven. The MSG doesn't really count as the herbs and spice. Oh. It's like just something else, actually. But I didn't really want the MSG. Eleven herbs and spices. <laughs> oh. Hell, <laughs> just kind of get it mixed up there. All right, so we got that mixed up. We're gonna do that. <coughs> all the, this is all all that stuff tickling your nose, ain't it? Take my nose and throw. All right. So what's our next step, there, Zach? All uh right. -huh. If you don't die from the seasonings, you're gonna get two eggs, and you're gonna crack them. Yeah, we gotta wash it off. Kind of 
sound effects. Hey, you can put them on my hand. I'll throw them away. I gotta change my gloves. Remember, we got one cup of buttermilk. Okay. Alright, now just put the cup on the sink. And then you're gonna get a whisk. You're gonna have to whisk it up. So all we did with the spices what we didn't have on the video is legit just take all those uh, spices and just put them all in the bowl. We didn't do anything else special except just having the uh, the measurements that we could draw it out, and we just put them all in the in the bowl. We just didn't record it because it would just mix them all back up. There were so many. All right, so this part's pretty simple. All right, so what you're gonna do? You're gonna get chicken. All right. Zach already screwed up. I did it. One hand wet, one hand dry. Exactly. Are oh, you, you gonna keep your wait? You did kind of backwards. <laughs> It'd be fine. So what you're gonna do? You can stick your hand. your your bowl over here. Oops, sorry guys, I'm, well, we're trying to multitask. You know, again, we're not in the studio, so. You're gonna put your chicken in the egg wash. Remember, let it drip a little bit before you put it into the. And I know it looks weird, but like I said, we took some big chicken breasts and we made some big old long tenders. Look at those. I've got my oil heated up. You want your oil heated up to about 350. Uh, so in the recipe, this calls, the recipe that we have right here with the two cups of flour, we'll do one whole chicken. You take that one whole chicken and you actually break it up into eight different pieces. You got your breast, uh, you got your two breasts, your thighs, wings, drumsticks, all that good stuff. So Zach's gonna take all these and he's going to coat all that up. And I'm actually gonna show you uh, another one real quick. Hold on one second. So watch with look at the camera here. I'm gonna show you guys another one that I like. Okay. So this when you don't want to do all these seasons right here, this stuff right here, find stuff at Walmart, uh, right or any place, people. Wherever. It's actually a really good um, brand too. Now, it doesn't have all the seasonings that this has in here. So usually I take that one. If I'm just making regular, that's why I have that in here. If I'm making regular chicken for myself, I will take that Kentucky Colonel mix. I got like two boxes over there right now. And I'll add my own seasoning. I'll add some extra garlic powder to it. And some different other seasonings uh, to season up the chicken with. But it's a really good base coat. It does have some flavors in there. But that one's also good too if you don't want to do all of this. But you know, if you didn't do all that, why would you be watching the Dinner Dudes? Which we appreciate that, don't we, Zach? Mm -hmm. All right. So Zach's going to get all of his uh, chicken tenders all coated up while the oil heats up. And we're going to be right back with you. All right. So Zach has a bunch of these stuff. This stuff. Chicken tenders coated up right here. I've got my oil heated up. And so I'm just going to kind of... Let's fry some chicken because that's what we're here for anyway, right? That sizzle. It's going to be a little bit different since they're like long chicken tenders. Now guys, make sure to when you're coating your chicken tenders, make sure to you get a scoop of that seasoning. Pretty much you're going to get your chicken too. You're just going to press it down pretty much. That helps keep the seasoning on there. And just helps stick those. So uh, make sure you coat it really good and then you're gonna try to stuff the chicken with seasoning. Right. So I'm just gonna cook up the chicken now. 
and get it all fried up, and then we'll be back. These things are looking amazing. Zach did an excellent job of coating this chicken. Look at that. He did a really good job. This is professional. You can touch me. I'm going to let these cool down just a little bit. So the chicken's all cooked up. Uh, and it looks delicious. Um, I've got some water bowling for some mashed potatoes. Don't judge me. I'm doing some instant mashed potatoes, but it's fine. That was the part of the dinner tonight. So, while the water is boiling, while these cool down just a little bit, let's go do some dad voice. Alright, welcome back to dad voice with our Be More Vader. I swear, I think this book is bigger uh, than our other ones, but we still got a little bit left on it. So, uh, but for this, this one's about. Never tolerate insubordination. Some colleagues are determined to make you look bad. You may have taken them from their family when they were a child, given them a staff number instead of a name, and trained them only in combat. Yet they're still ungrateful. If your coworker is simply unmotivated, alert your manager or insist they submit to blasters for inspection. If they're outright rebellious, bring a righteous chrome fist down upon them. Nice. I like that one. Um, obviously, talk about stormtroopers. But when you are being a leader, sometimes there are people who don't want to listen to you. Sometimes just because they don't want to. They just want to be insubordinate. They're out to get you. Maybe they want your job. Maybe they're jealous of you. Maybe they're, you know, they just want to see you fall. Maybe they just don't like you. Maybe they just don't like your face. You ever had somebody just didn't like their face? We all have that. But don't let them be insubordinate. I'm not saying you have to go down and say that iron fist. But sometimes you have to let them. Hey, I'm the boss. Hey, this is what's going to go on. Because sometimes being a leader also means making the choices that you don't want to make. So if they don't want to listen to you, you have to make them. Otherwise, you have to do what you have to do. If you're a manager, you have to wipe them up to eventually promote them to customer. Um, sometimes you have to do things. Sometimes people don't want to listen to you. Maybe it's not the right fit for them. Maybe they're in the wrong type of profession. Maybe you're playing in a baseball game and someone sucks at first base, move them over there. Don't let them just keep sucking. Don't let them just try to tell you how to do your job. Don't let people tell you how to do your job and make you have the downfall for it. Because in the end, when these people don't want to do what you want them to do, all that's going to hurt is you. And I hate saying look out for yourself, but sometimes in life, we're always looking out for each other. Sometimes you have to look out for yourself. So that means making sure that you take care of the people who don't want to be on your team. If they're not going to be on your team, move them on. So that's your dad advice for the week. All right, so it's time for our taste test of our original recipe. Uh, well, not our original recipe, the Colonel's original recipe of 11 herbs and spices. Again, we did this in chicken tenders just because we didn't want bone in chicken tonight. We just weren't feeling it. Um, Zach, let's see how it compares to the kernel. Watch out, that's still going to be hot back there. It's an amazing kernel. He did a really good job on cutting these and stuff out. Does it taste like KFC? Does it? I usually get the original recipe anyway. I'm not real big on the. Um, Extra crispy, I like the original recipe. You can taste that paprika. Oh, inside this, I don't know if I can see. You can see all of the spices in here. Look at that. That looks gorgeous. So. Mm. 
Wow. It's just like it. It tastes just like it. But better. This is my coating. That tastes just like KFC. This is freaking good. I know, right? <laughs> that is so good. Uh, that's a lot. Now, Grant, it was a lot to uh, to make that. All right, so now. I'm my KFC bucket. And now, we go on the streets, okay? Put that chicken in here. Put it in like your bucket? Yeah, we need to bring it around like Comic Con. So, <laughs> like, so no. I, went to, I went to KFC and I was like, hey, don't put it on there. I was like, I need to ask you a weird question. I need some chicken buckets. So they looked at me like, what? I said, I'm a cosplayer and I'm cosplaying as Colonel Sanders. <laughs> and again, they kind of looked at me and I'm like, Okay, we do a YouTube channel, we do all this stuff. Here's our card, I have a card, it has all our TikTok stuff on there. Cool. I said, okay. They gave me two buckets. I got the chicken, uh, looks great. So we got some, uh, we did cheat. Um, we, we, not really cheat because our video was about the chicken, but we couldn't have KC chicken without some actual KC coleslaw. Mm. Biscuit. Okay, let's see biscuit. Well, mashed potatoes, I made the mashed potatoes and uh but I just like you know, it's mashed potatoes. The whole bar. But there's some instant mashed potatoes. That that's the way I do my mashed potatoes. It's weird. I don't feel like I do anything on special. He's he'll tell people all the time I'm the only one to eat mashed potatoes from. I just think it's mashed potatoes. It's just the way I season them up, butter them up. Usually I make like loaded with cheese. And bacon bits and sour cream. That's usually how I like my mashed potatoes. But since I was doing KFC style, so we had to have brown gravy with them today. It's only natural, right? Um, but other than that, guys, I really enjoyed this. It was messy. It was a lot. But this stuff tastes just like KFC. I'm going to have to try this with some actual, like, you know, drums or some, you know, some other stuff. But pretenders, I, th I think, that's just, to me, personally, this is definitely a dinner dude's like double thumbs up. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what'd you think? Good? Good. It really didn't take us that long to make it either. Besides us having to do the YouTube and having to record, I mean, all in all, by the time you really mix your thing together, like 30 minutes or so, maybe 40? If that, honestly, I don't even really think it's that long. So, next week is Thanksgiving. So, if you dinner dudes or dudettes have any like some really cool Thanksgiving ideas. Now not not just the casual Thanksgiving like stuffing and turkey and stuff, you know, the casual stuff people make. Which we can also teach them how to make a turkey too, because not a lot of people Ooh, know how I'm to make thinking turkey. I'm thinking I wanna make a turkey once or twice. But I've made it. But I have to tell you this, in the comments, because this video will come out this week, uh the next video probably actually won't come out until after Thanksgiving. So uh don't know because weird schedule going on um, for the next few weeks for me, but cool. But in the comments, tell us what is your favorite Thanksgiving item, whether it's a turkey or, or ham or the green bean casserole or the deviled eggs. Mm. I would say deviled eggs are stuffing. You know, it's my favorite. What would you, what would you like us to make? Because um, now that I said that, I'm kind of feeling some deviled eggs. We should like find some really cool deviled eggs. Should we find some? Not, not, not just I like saw a, I eggs. saw a, a TikTok for deviled egg cupcakes. They weren't actually cupcakes, but they were like deviled eggs. They're like the are they like the barbecue biscuit cups, but deviled eggs. Similar, egg. yeah. So let us know what you guys want us to do. Mm -hmm. uh, we want to keep doing more content for you guys. Let us know what you guys want us to make. Uh, mm -hmm. We make a lot of stuff. Make us go out of our comfort zone. Tell us to make some. You see, we're not very good at baking. We do okay. We're not the baking bros. Uh, we do pretty good breakfast. We are the dinner dudes. We're, we specialize in that type of stuff. We do really good in that. But let's go out of our comfort zone and do some stuff that maybe we've never even heard of, right? Mm -hmm. so, oh, I realized um, back in October, that was the one year anniversary of the dinner dudes. So we've been officially doing this for a year. Awesome. We're a little over 220 subscribers. Thank you guys. It's amazing that our first goal was 50. Like, we're going to get 50. And then we're like, oh, 75. We might get 100. 
and we and we did you know 100 episodes so now we're at 220 so let's shoot for that 250 goal oh, can thousand. we get the 250 that i'd love to get to a thousand if we get a thousand we can get okay i'll admit that if we get a thousand I would do something really stupid like eating the, like eating anchovies. I did that because the video got how many likes? Like ten likes, I think. Yeah, that was yeah. So I would do something. It can't kill me, but I can do something really stupid if we get to. Can we what, what about think we can find something really? What about five hundred? We'll do five hundred. We we'll do five hundred. If we get five hundred, that's we'll, a while away. Let's uh, but for right now. Our food's getting cold, bro. Let's go eat. Let's go eat. So, yeah. until next time, guys, I'm Chris. I'm Zach. And we're the Dinner Dudes.